Hello everybody, welcome back to Rogues and Role Players. Uh, we had some technical difficulties with our audio and uh, <laughs> we just want to inform you that uh, Bumbler is no longer a robot. We fixed him up. What are you talking about? I don't remember being a robot. That's because we wiped you. Uh... <laughs> I thought it was just the alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, we apologize about the audio issues in those last few episodes, but... We decided to just make it a running joke that Bumbler sounded like a robot, and like I, get, I got shoved into a tiny box. <laughs> just I'm recording from my own little corner of the room that's made out of exactly. very dense, highly reflective material. <laughs> uh, so it should sound normal now. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I can make it sound not normal again. Do you want me to do that? No. <laughs> So weren't were we actually like trying to come up with robot voices now that we? <laughs> we I am a it? robot. <laughs> I am your master now. <laughs> yeah, we we were we were messing around and we we discovered that if you talk while inhaling, if you do it the right way, you can sound like Microsoft Sam. Yep, it's amazing. And so that, that was where uh, the idea for uh, Robo Bumbler came from. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, I am Robo Bumbler. I am a third. No, today. you'd be Robo Nasida. I'm, I'm Robo Bumbler. I am Robo Nasida. How may I serve you today? It sounds so much like a Microsoft <laughs> Sam voice, but it's just like you, that voice should not be coming out of a human being. <laughs> no, <laughs> and yet it is. Hello, I am Monkey. I am about to fight a boss. <laughs> What kind of services would you need rendered today? <laughs> <laughs> what was, what was, uh, here we go. What was it? Um, oh. Puffish! <laughs> hey! uh, oh no, we're unconscious. We're gonna die. <laughs> uh, oh, wait. I'm trying to remember what to do. Oh, crap! Oh, okay, okay, it's the Z button. The Z button is the acceleration. Okay. Oh, uh, okay. Usually it's the A button, but this time it's the Z button. You fucking clod. Why aren't you on pump and with the controls? Hey, shut <laughs> up, Robo Bumbler. I know what I'm doing. Get off of my ass. You we are asshole. trying to do a professional playthrough of Donkey Kong 64. Boner, boner. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I forgot about that. Oh, like, 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 uh, what did I say? It was, um, <laughs> would it be inappropriate if I said boner, 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 boner? <laughs> <laughs> oh, we are so mature. Uh, we're, we're the most mature people on the face of YouTube world. <laughs> Oh man, okay, so basically I gotta float through all these little rings. Uh, and, and you uh, gotta avoid the, the shock waves of the giant yeah. puffer fish. It's pretty much all this boss fight is, is going through rings. Oh, but you kinda have like timers to. Yeah. Okay, I got that one. Everything. Oh fuck. And every time you hit him once, the rings get smaller. <laughs> <laughs> so it's I like. This guy is just giving me like flashbacks to the Mighty Poo from. Uh, Conquer's bad for a day. Oh yeah, he kind of does. Just like the, the way his eyes and his mouth look and work. Yeah. <laughs> Editor, go ahead and give me a picture of the Mighty Poo, just because he deserves it. He was the, I the most- I am the great Mighty Poo, and I'm going to throw my shit at you. <laughs> he actually does say that in the song. Yes, that that is quoted from him. Yep. Oh god, we need to play that game sometime. I want to, but finding an original copy of it is balls. It is, and when you do find one, it's like stupid fucking expensive. I mean, it's it's a freaking legendary title now at yeah. this point. Well, I mean, the, you, you, we do, you do have the, um, I mean, I have the, uh, the rare replay collection on Xbox One, yeah, but, but isn't that the censored one though? No, it's not censored. Oh, it's not the censored. No, oh. No. Uh, okay, here we go. No, the only. Ow, oh, shit! I'm about to die. Oh. Uh. No, the only issue with playing it on that is that I don't have an Xbox One. So uh, well, I'm pretty sure we could borrow one from somebody. I yeah, know, probably. I know a couple of people that probably have. Yeah, because like it, it's weird. I own the game on Xbox One, but I don't own an Xbox One. I just bought the game because I was like, I must have this <laughs> just for prosperity. Sake. Exactly. I was like, someday. I will own an Xbox One, and when that day comes, I will play this. 
So yeah, any of our, uh, our our good friends out there in the comment section, if you got an Xbox One, we can maybe borrow so we can make that a reality. Yeah, yeah. we would love to play. Give us, Concrete give us a shout that. out, and we'll uh, yeah. we'll give you uh, a little rogue love and sh give you a shout out. And while we're in the middle of it, would it be okay if I said boner boner? <laughs> <laughs> you say it better than me. Hello, I would like to requisition some of your materials. <laughs> Like, can you imagine having a business meeting with somebody? Oh that God, the like rings that? are so tiny now. Oh, oh, I'm dead. I'm dead. You're gonna have to bring your A game. I'm sorry. And your For... inflatable pants. I will bring my inflatable <laughs> pants with me right now, Mister. <laughs> so let me let me ask this. Uh, the, there's five Kongs, but there's eight worlds, right? Yes. So do a couple of the Kongs get multiple bosses? Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure that the Kongs. Yeah, the Kongs fight multiple times. Probably, uh, I would imagine Tiny Diddy and Donkey getting an extra boss. Yeah, actually, I don't, I don't quite remember what Kongs get the multi bosses. So I, I, those are the ones that are from other games. So I figured they would be the ones that are showcased a bit. Yeah, I think so. Um, I don't know. I don't remember off the top of my head. I've, I mean, I've made it to the end of this game without actually beating it. So, I've fought every boss, but I don't remember which ones are, like, the repeats. Mm. And before I died, I noticed that, like, that last row of rings you gotta go through, they get fucking tiny. Yeah. It's, it's like the si it's like the size of the damn boat. It's like... <laughs> what, you're saying you're not an Olympic-class boatsman? No, I'm saying I'm better than an Olympic-class <laughs> boatsman. <laughs> See, I almost did it again. I was- we were talking about this earlier. I- I tend to mess up my words very often, and I stumble, and I say something else by accident. And I almost just did it again. It's adorable. It's a quirk. Fuck you. <laughs> Quirks are fun. You have to have fun with it. Are you having fun? I am having lots of fun! I am having lots of fun getting my ass handed to me right now. That shockwave is destroying. If I am hit one more time, I'm fucking Do it. You can do it. I believe you. I think there's like two more rows of rings. And if you don't, Robo- Yeah, bundle. there's like- there, there's more than two- You can do this. Oh, fuck. If you don't, Robo Bumbler is gonna come in here and sass you again. <laughs> no, I don't want to see Robo Bumbler come back. <laughs> he scared the shit out of me, dude. No more Robo Bumbler. No more Robo Bumbler. We, 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 we had to live with Robo Bumbler for the past four episodes. He's got, no. a, he's got, a, he's got a penchant for mass murder. And, uh, yeah, you know, <laughs> he, he's not a friend of mankind. <laughs> no. No. He, 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 was, he was... He's practically a Terminator. He was scary these past four episodes, man. <laughs> Look at how small these things get. <laughs> it's okay, you can do this. These aren't even like the smallest that they get. They get smaller than this. Really? Yes! They do! Like, I'm having a hard time trying to get this one. <laughs> All right. There oh, you, go. you barely got it. Good job. Barely. Yeah. No! Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Get it, get it, get it. Okay, cool. I'm not gonna lie, like, for for a boat, this boat, like, just handles all oh, willy nilly from what it looks like. Yes, I got it. Like, it, you're just sliding all over the place. I'm pretty sure water doesn't function this way. It's, it's more like no. you're, a, it's, like, it's like you have a, a motorboat on ice. That's pretty much what it is. Come on. Get the damn ring! It's the last one! Oh. God! Because oh. like, it, it, it would be more appropriate if, like, the lake was frozen over and then you have one of those, like, ice ring <laughs> cleaning machines and you're trying to drive that through rings. It's like Deadpool. <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna die in five minutes! <laughs> oh my god, that movie was great. Uh, yeah, I, I recently saw it, so thank you, you for avoiding spoilers for yeah. the... <laughs> If you, if you, for those of you out there who have not seen the Deadpool movie yet, see it. It's fucking awesome. But don't bring your kids. Like, oh yeah, no, do says. not take your kids. Do not take your kids, unless you're okay with them seeing some kind of fucked up shit. <laughs> so, <laughs> it's like, I went to go see it, and look at how tiny they are. Was... <laughs> oh, damn it! Like, whenever I went, like, I, because I went way, way, way after the movie had come out, so, like, I pretty much had the en entire movie theater to myself when I went to go see it, which was oh, amazing. Oh, that's awesome. I've, I've, I've had that happen before, too. And, like, but, like, 
10 minutes before the movie started, there was this, like, no fucks giving grandma that brought, like, her grandkids to see this movie. Oh, come on! <laughs> Really? <laughs> I was just like, you, you, you do know what you're, you're getting yourself into. Yeah, right? you, I, you, you. Did you see the rating on the fucking poster? <laughs> so, I mean, just like, I would figure at the ticket booth, like they would, they would have like mentioned that. I was like, are, are you sure you want to bring this? Because I mean, like they had to have been like five and eight at tops. Yeah, like, well, I saw the movie twice, and second time I went. Like, cause the first time I went, it was launch day, so there wasn't really like I didn't really notice any kids. It was mm -hmm. mostly adults, um, and it was a midnight showing. But the second time I went, there were so many kids. Like there were kids next to me, <laughs> and I was just like, "Why are they here?" It's like, okay, you know what? Okay, I'll make this sense. If a parent is responsible enough to say, "You know what? I don't mind my kid seeing this stuff," it's like, you know what? Okay, at least you're a parent. And you're taking responsibility for it. But taking your kids to see a movie that is clearly R-rated and you're just like, Oh, it's a superhero movie. It must be child-friendly. I don't have to look at the rating. <laughs> Give me, and oh, then, it's just like the Avengers. Exactly. Oh. And then and, and then they go and fucking complain to the studio. It's like, oh my god, this movie's horrible for kids. Why did you put it out? They did, they it's did not a, for kids! They did a great job saying this is not for kids. They said it everywhere. But it's just like, I'm not gonna lie, if I was her grandkids and my grandma took me to see the Deadpool movie, she would immediately be the world's coolest grandma. Oh, you. absolutely. It's, it's just like, <laughs> I, I don't feel bad, but it's also kind of yeah. like, I wonder if they did like the thing is like, don't tell your parents. <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> it was like, I had that kind of thing going on growing up, because, like, when I, was a, when I was a kid, my mom did not let me play GoldenEye 007 on the N64. What? That's not even a bad game. I know it's not, but, you know, that was just how she felt. But you know what? All my friends had that game, and I was just like, I went to, their, I went to my friends, and they're just like, we're going to play GoldenEye. Nobody says a word to Addison's mom. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like and what was also cool is um, I had a babysitter and my my memory on this is kind of vague but I do remember when I had that babysitter she had a Super Nintendo and like I pretty much got my Super Nintendo fix with her and I remember she I think I, I like I said my memory on this is vague but I do remember that she at one point at least let me play Mortal Kombat Oh. And I was just that was the fun. Was, was it the which which version was it? Was it the one with all the blood and gore or no? Well, it was Super Nintendo, so it was the one where they turned it all green. Yeah. But even so, still. I mean, <laughs> because g turning it green makes it any less disgusting. <laughs> yeah. It's just like, yeah, we get it. You're trying to be less violent and it doesn't work. <laughs> it's not the thing that humans normally leak. So it's exactly. okay. Exactly. <laughs> It's like, oh, why don't you just make it blue? Because there's still people out there who still think that blood is blue until it hits air. <laughs> but wait, that that's a thing people believe? Yeah, there's people out there who believe, oh, your veins are blue because your blood is actually blue until it hits air. That, that's a hard argument to, to... Yeah, it's not true. <laughs> How do you know? Have you seen blood that's not hit air? No. <laughs> But I do, I do study things, and I'm a brilliant scientist, okay? Oh, okay. I'm, I mean, I just, I, have, I, 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 I I've been studying these things for years, man. I mean, I've got an associate's degree in post-production. I mean, I know these things. <laughs> I make videos for a living. <laughs> I know what I'm talking about whenever it comes to scientific exploits. Exactly, dude. In, two, in 2015, I got my Associates of Applied Sciences degree in video post-production. That it clearly proves that I know what I'm talking about when I say... Why is it a science degree? <laughs> well, that, that's that's literally what my degree is. It's a <laughs> Yeah, but like, I would figure it would be an arts degree. It says arts and applied sciences. That's what that's... my de I have the degree hanging on my wall at home. That sounds so mishmash. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like... the art of applied science. I think the idea is that 
it's you're practicing an art, but since it's not traditional art, it's on a computer. It also falls in line with sciences, I guess. I don't know. It's it's weird. Yeah, that is kind of weird. But <laughs> I, I I don't know. I just I still kind of feel like a term like that isn't really proper for it anymore. Hmm. It's just like you know, how about like just a degree of like technical arts or something like that. <laughs> Ooh, oh God. <laughs> oh no! It's the return of Robo Bumbler. <laughs> Oh, that one hurt a little bit. I I totally like sucked down a giant like spittle. Blech. Oh no 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 no! Oh shit! That almost oh. hit me. Oh, but God. what I was going to say is, are you questioning our infallible logic? Uh, damn it! That's hard to do actually. <laughs> <laughs> Especially after we ate Mexican food. Oh. And you got so like so good. Yeah, it's so good. But then when you try to do that robot voice, and it's you still it got just to... gums you up. <laughs> yeah, and then you 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 retaste all that Mexican food that we ate. Oh, that's not a bad thing. <laughs> not necessarily. <laughs> I mean, I had quesadillas, and I love quesadillas. Well, have you ever had that moment where like you haven't eaten anything like all day, but then for some reason you like have to burp, and then it tastes like some kind of food that you haven't eaten in like ages? I had that moment today. <laughs> What was it? No, legitimately, like I was, I was at work today, and I the only thing I had to eat that day, t today I mean, was breakfast, which was eggs and sausage. Mm -hmm. And I, I think I went for about six hours without eating anything, which, at that point, it was kind of strange that I wasn't feeling hungry. And then for some reason, I just had this urge to burp, and when I burped, I tasted. Shrimp. Shrimp? That's a very specific <laughs> taste. I was like, I had shrimp like uh, a, I had shrimp a few days ago when I and when I went to dinner with my I'm, mom. But I'm not even a fan of shrimp. Ugh. I love shrimp. Damn it! Aww. I died again. I always die at that last row of rings. Damn it! <laughs> Do, is is there a way to increase our our melon count? Or are we pretty much stuck? I at think two? I think we're stuck with two. I mean, I don't know. I mean, what's her what's her what's her face is in the area, so I guess we could go and check. So but I, I have having an extra it. extra pair of melon might be very good. An extra pair of melons would yeah. be very helpful mm -hmm. right now. Mm. <laughs> yeah, we need an extra pair of melons. <laughs> we really need an extra pair of melons. We need to go see Duncan. <laughs> <laughs> Oh god. Oh, cuz like talking about like what you were talking about earlier, it's like I think it happened to me today. I was just like I haven't had Doritos in like years. Oh yeah, and you said you had that burp that it's tasted just, like Doritos. Oh, it's just like it's just it, it made me like crave the taste. It's just like dang, I could really go for a bag of freaking nacho Doritos right now. Oh yeah. Like I remember when um when I still liked Taco Bell. Um, which I don't anymore. I've I've never been a fan of like Taco Bell or Taco Bell. Oh Bacana. god, no. I have so many friends who love Taco Bell. Um, like my family loves Taco Bell. You know, like my you know, every once in a while my my parents are in the area and they're like, you know, hey, uh, you're at work, you want some lunch? We're about to pick up some Taco Bell. I'm like, oh. <laughs> so I'll, I'll fend for myself. How did Wade so? I appreciate the gesture, though. Wade put it in a in a very beautiful way. It's like, oh hey, welcome to Taco Bell. What'd you like? I was like, oh, a square square to lettuce, square to cheese, square to meat. Damn it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like ah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <sighs> it's puffish. <laughs> he is destroying. I'm just you. trying to get the damn ring. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> I need more melons. I need Aww, more watermelon. Are, are, are we gonna have to to end this episode and then we'll we'll have to do an I hope epic not. rematch? I hope not. I hope not. Uh, I just I just need I just need a watermelon. <laughs> so, I mean, there is no health pickups in this place at all. No, there's none. You can't recover your HP here. <laughs> so it's like it's you I have to, you have to do it. This this I, I, I have to do this without getting a, hit. It anymore. is a war of attrition. Come on. <laughs> I can't hit. I can't get hit once, or else I'm fucking dead. 
And I got 13 seconds to get this damn ring. You've got this, even though he's, he's going to freaking like... Really? I went through it! What the hell? <laughs> it's gonna puff up his cheeks and make fat Gunga noises at you. Alright, alright. One, one more try, and if I don't get him this time... One more try, and if I don't get him this time, we'll go next time on ropes. But all we're, right. we're beating Let's him tonight. Do this. We're beating him tonight, okay? We're beating him tonight. <laughs> it's happening, okay? It's going down tonight. It's Oh, it's going down tonight. <laughs> at the local lake near your house. <laughs> All Robert Downey Jr. because it's going to be one hell of a party. <laughs> <laughs> what? It's not a party until Iron Man shows up? <laughs> I definitely. I, I, I do not deny that statement. <laughs> <laughs> he shows up at the party. He's like... So everybody asks me, how do you pee in the chute? Just like that. <laughs> I was hey. like, that was one of my favorite jokes from that movie. <laughs> Whenever you are freaking in a fight with a giant killer robot or whatever other kind of horrible creatures that the Avengers have to face, that is an important thing to consider. <laughs> yeah. Oh god, I'm so excited about it. I could not imagine like, getting ready for a fight with a full bladder. Oh no. No, 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 no. Like no. one good gut punch and you just lose it. Yep. And then it's just. You're defeated in just that way. <laughs> and, and then you, you don't have any respect anymore amongst the villains or the heroes at that point. Nope. <laughs> God, right. nobody would let you hear the end of it. <laughs> and that that was something I always liked about the like Avengers uh, and the Fantastic Four compared to the, some of the DC ones. Yeah. Is that like whenever they like got together at first, they didn't even like each other. <laughs> no, it's true. They all hated each other. They just they they did not like each other. Uh, that just felt so much more real to life. And uh, yeah. Like the just well, was that's it the like super friends or just the yeah. league. It's starting to show now with the new movie uh, Civil War, which I'm super yeah, because they're, excited they're about. definitely they're definitely heading in that route. That is, oh, there's a lot more drama between them, and it's just yeah, which that movie looks fucking awesome, man. I cannot wait to see it. I am kind of scared about the Superman Batman. Well, yeah, I mean. Super, Batman vs. Superman is like the movie that they're trying to get, you know, to launch Justice League. Yeah, and um, I have a feeling that they're going to steer it in the direction of being able to launch Justice League so much that they're going to miss, like, the depth of Batman vs. Superman. Yeah, well, the other thing that I kind of noticed, and somebody was pointing this out too, is that, uh, and I have to apologize in advance to the DC fans out there for this, but it's true. Um, the Batman vs. Superman trailer has, like, what? Uh, three million views on it? Whereas the Civil War trailer has, like, ten million views. <laughs> it's like... Jeez. Yeah, it's... It's... it's I, I, I love Batman, okay? Don't get me wrong. He's one of my favorites, but... It's true, like, the Marvel stuff just gets a lot more attention. Yeah, it's just well. Here's here's the other thing is like if you look at the stories, Batman versus Superman is it's about those two characters. Yeah. Whereas uh, the Civil War ones, if you look at the original comic books, that was about a social issue that was being reenacted by the characters in the Marvel universe. True. So people could relate to it because it was based around real social events that had actually kind of happened. Yeah. And so just adding that extra little bridge of depth to what the characters are going through adds so much more realism to it that people can relate to it more. Yeah, and people just pay more attention. Which I agree with. I mean, there's so much there's so many things in that movie that are addressing social issues, not to mention the fucking montage of awesome Marvel heroes. I mean, mm -hmm. like it's not just the Avengers. Like they're, it's gonna have Spider Man. It's gonna have Ant Man. It's gonna have fucking everybody. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, I mean, that's what you have to do with the Civil War because I mean that was an entire overarching segment of the Marvel universe. Is that every comic book had Civil War like titles that were in. Oh yeah. Well, another thing that I kind of like about Marvel too is that they really like to tease people. And what I mean by that is like 
with, with Captain America Civil War, everybody knew that the Avengers, you know, it was going to be like another Avengers movie in a lot of ways. Um, and, but one thing that was like a big question, like, is it going to include Spider-Man? And initially they said, no, there's no Spider-Man. No Spider-Man. The original plans may not have had no, Spider-Man. Like, no, yeah, they said, they, they literally said no Spider-Man. And then the, the second trailer came out, and it was fucking Spider-Man. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> they may have... I, I don't know if I want to say, like, they they put that misinformation out there intentionally. I wonder if they... I, I actually believe that they did. Damn it. I actually believe that they may have put out some misinformation out there intentionally, because some companies do that. Like, there are companies that say, oh, there's not going to be a secret scene at the end of the credits, and yet there is. Yeah. Because then it, it makes people talk about it. Yeah. And it, it's sad that people have to resort to that, but it, it's also kind of it's just It's kind like, of funny, though. It, it's kind of... It, it kind of makes it feel like you're in on, like, the joke or whatever. If you're, like, one of the first ones that are able to talk about it, like, Oh! They did a thing! And... It's... it's I just have mixed feelings on that, because... It's very manipulative. <laughs> it is. It really is. Oh my gosh, I was like this I think this but is the last row. I'll, I'll be rings. darned if it doesn't work though. Yeah, I think we're on the last row. This has here, to be the like, last lap for me. It's look at how small they are! They are literally the size of your dinghy. Yeah. I mean if they get any smaller than this, I don't see in, I don't get a lot of time. You wouldn't either. even be able to see them. Damn it. I only get ten seconds between rings right now. Mm -hmm. You gotta you gotta bring your freaking A game. No! Come on. Okay, I got two. I got. I got one left. I got two hits left. You can do this. I believe in you. This is the last row, and I. I can't. Can you turn without like moving? Yeah, I can turn without okay, moving. So That's what I've been doing. Yeah. Come on! Damn it! Okay, I gotta go for the win. Yes. One more. I think there's only one more. I don't know. We'll see. Do this. Do the others. Yes. The last one. Oh, oh there's one more. more. Okay, one come more. on. Oh, it's so hard to find Where it. Where is it? Where is it? Oh no! Uh, Damn it! Oh, okay, we said that was gonna be the last. Uh, one. next time on Rogues. Next time on Rogues, we're gonna get them. <laughs> we're gonna get them. Next we're gonna time on Rogues. gut that puffer fish. Next time on Rogues, we're gonna call Iron Man, and he's gonna <laughs> fucking dance like this, and he's gonna be like, "I'm gonna kill all of you." <laughs> Fuck the monkeys! Oh, I'm the king of swing, not you! Did you know that there are certain types of puffer fish with a, with a toxin sack so deadly that you have to have a special permit to be able to fillet them? Exactly. <laughs> it's a true story. It's a true story. And also, look at me. I am the king of swing. <laughs> that actually looks like that would be very hard to do. <laughs> Actually, yeah, it does. <laughs> oh, man, any athletes out there, see if you can do that. <laughs> if you do do it, send a video. Send a video. Yeah, make definitely. Video. I, yeah. I, want, I want to see that. <laughs> oh, yeah, I want to see somebody doing that. All right, next time on Rogues, we're going to get them. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.